If you could only give one piece of advice to someone shopping for a tractor, then what would it be? Now I could only put a handful of options out there, but then I also asked for, for comments as well, so we'll get to those too. Option number one, get a loader. 51% of respondents said that was what they would recommend. Get four wheel drive, 25% said get four wheel drive. Get a certain brand, only 3% said that. So all you brand loyalists out there, that you were not around in this poll. Get extra hydraulics, 15%. Something else that made up the last 5%. Now, the comments, they were pretty, pretty interesting and pretty enlightening. Go to the community tab on our YouTube channel if you wanna see that. Something that I took away from this poll question, from the comments, <laughs> well, kind of, probably kind of odd to say, was uh, don't listen to other people. And that's me included, you know, or take it with a grain of salt. Because a huge repetitive comment that was coming in was get one size bigger than you need, get two sizes bigger than you need, go bigger than you need. And that comes with a lot of trade-offs. And, and I get emails from folks that uh, want to sell their tractors or want to downsize, not as much as want to upsize to something bigger, but there's a problem with buying too big as well. And so if you just went out blindly and was like, hey man, my buddy's had a tractor for 30 years and he says get one bigger than, than, what, I, than I, what I think I need, maybe, but maybe not. You know, now I will say, you can't go wrong getting too big of a gun safe. You can't go wrong getting too big of a trailer. You can't go wrong getting too big of a pole barn. <laughs> but a tractor, well, if you get a big Kubota M4 like I have, I don't want to drive that around my lawn. It's going to ruin my lawn. I can't navigate anywhere around there either. It's just way too big for that. And even like the 4066R that I had is really way too big to drive around my lawn. And, and you can do it. I'm not saying you can't do it, but you don't want to drive it over finished areas and, and you have lots of landscaping and trees and bushes and shrubs and all that kind of stuff going on and other obstacles in your lawn that's difficult to use or difficult to navigate with a big tractor. So that's a struggle that you're going to have is finding the right size of machine. And I think that is a struggle that a lot of folks have. Now I will say, because with time, my opinion changes. You know, I like to think I get more knowledgeable doing this day in and day out, year after year. And I used to highly recommend, and I still do in a lot of ways, John Deere and Kubota. And as I've gotten more comfortable with other tractor brands, there's others out there that are gonna do a lot of the same things. If you need more lift capacity, for example, but you need to stay in a smaller frame tractor, there's gonna be other manufacturers out there Coyote, TYM, Summit, that will have a lot more loader and three-point lift capacity than John Deere or Kubota. It seems strange because those are the, the leading brands that are out there. They're the most expensive brands that are out there. And there's a lot of things that I really love about those brands too. I mean, I think that the quick park loaders, to take a loader on and off on a John Deere tractor can't be beat. I think it's the best thing out there. I think the Auto Connect mower decks on the John Deere tractors. I think the, um, the backhoes on the Kubota and the John Deere are both super easy to take on and off. There's a lot of really well thought out engineering in those processes that make it more user friendly. Um, but lift capacities are not one of them. And even machine weight is generally not one of their strengths compared to some of the other competition that's out there. So fit and finish often will be, but there's, there's going to be trade-offs. And so the point being is that if you need to have certain minimum requirements on your tractor, you may have to expand your search further beyond just kind of the most, the two most well-known brands that have the most dealers out there, you know, the most locations for, for service. If you aren't going to service your machine yourself, random note though, poll question I did a while back about, uh, generally speaking, do you take your, your machine in to get serviced or do you service it yourself? Most folks out there are doing the service themselves. So you may need dealer support to get the parts or the, the maintenance kits that you need, that kind of thing, which you can these days order online and have it shipped to you. Um, but if you had to have some big warranty work done or some big warranty repair, it could be nice to have a dealer that's within 20 minutes or a half hour. But if it's 
How often do you have major repairs that need to get done anyways, even if it was an hour drive, I suppose? Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. All right, back on track though. There's certain tasks that are gonna require minimum capacities. And I like to use, because it's pretty cut and dry, a round bale as an example. You know, guys on farms, they gotta, gotta feed and gotta offload from a trailer, a big round bale, and then take it to, from point A to point B. And there's a, you just can't do that with subcompact tractors. You need a bigger tractor to do that. But you can get a small compact tractor and some of these other brands that can lift up a round bale and move it around. Whereas if you get like a John Deere 2025R, that's just not well suited to do that. And you could tweak some hydraulics and push the limits of it to get it done. Or you could just get a Coyote or a TYM that's basically the same footprint, but gonna be a bit heavier, have a lot more lift capacity and be able to get the job done. And you'll probably save some money that way too. But talking about the four options that I put in this poll, get a loader. Again, half of respondents said get a loader, all right? And <laughs> I am asked a lot if I have a loader for sale to fit XYZ tractor, doesn't matter what it is, all the time because either people buy a used tractor that doesn't have one, they think they're just going to go out and find one and just add it on. Very hard to do and you're oftentimes not saving much money over buying a new one anyways, even if it's still available. You know, if you, the older tractors, it's really hard to find one. You got to typically go to a place like loaders.com, uh, which is Westendorf. They make loaders, aftermarket loaders for just about everything out there. That's your best bet in that uh, avenue. Or if they're buying a new tractor and, and they think, I don't need a loader. What the heck am I going to do with that? Very rarely, very rarely do people regret buying a loader. And uh, it's going to make it way easier for you to sell down the road, even if it is a bigger investment now. If you're trying to unload that thing and it doesn't have a loader down the road, you're, the pool of people that are interested in buying a tractor without a loader on it is just a tiny fraction of the overall pool of potential buyers. So you're doing yourself a disservice in that regard. Four wheel drive, that's the next most popular uh, response there and four wheel drive versus two wheel drive. And um, I know there was at least one comment that said he didn't notice much of a difference between two wheel drive and four wheel drive. I am surprised by that. I don't know if you guys would feel the same way or not. It seems like 25% of you think that's the most important thing to get. So if you are in some place that is not completely flat land and let me re rephrase that. If you're in a place that is completely flat land, doesn't get any snow, doesn't get any mud, doesn't get any rain, I can see maybe two wheel drive is, is fine there. But if you have hills, if you have weather that comes in, that can make things a sloppy mess. If you're using this thing in four seasons, then four wheel drive is, is essential to get on your tractor. Fortunately, most tractors in the compact world these days are four wheel drive. You'll see a few models here and there that are two wheel drive. They'll still have locking rear differential, which will help. But again, you have to buy thinking you're going to sell at some point. So you need to buy what is marketable to sell to make your life just a lot easier. Chris just brought up a good point. Years ago, we were trying to load a, uh, a tractor onto a trailer and um, it, some four wheel drive levers are, are sticky and you might think that they're in four wheel drive, but they're not. And this tractor found out later was in two wheel drive and it would not get up the ramps to get on this trailer. Finally, dinked around with it enough to, to realize the lever wasn't in four wheel drive and finally got it engaged and it went up just fine. But even something as simple, as simple as that, just getting it onto a trailer, four wheel drive can make it, and I do that now all the time anyways, uh, four wheel drive just for stability, because you never know how things are gonna change, you know, um, the position of the weight on the front and the rear axle and all that, and you wanna have traction and control of the tractor all the time. So four wheel drive, important one too, I'm thinking about it now, hills, going down hills. If you're in two wheel drive, you have braking power on the rear axle. But if you're in four wheel drive, you can actually, you're braking with the front axle and the rear axle both. So you're making your tractor safer and more stable because of that too. All right, third place, get extra hydraulics, 15% on that one. So 
most tractors these days are going to come standard with two remotes on them and those are going to operate the loader. You have one set of remotes or two hoses, two plugs that direct flow forwards and backwards to raise and lower the front end loader and then the other two plugs or the other remote, two plugs equals one remote, curls, sorry, curls and dumps the bucket. All right, so that's two. So the extra remotes would be a third function, a third remote that goes all the way up front. So you can open and close, plug in your grapple, open and close the jaws of a grapple, angle a hydraulic blade, left to right, even run a uh, loader mounted post hole auger. On the back side, you can get a remote on the back side too. You can get a lot of remotes on the back side. Those would run like a, um, a hydraulic top link. If you get a, another one back there, a hydraulic side link. If you get a snowblower on the back and you want to run a hydraulic chute rotation, so left or right. Um, gosh, I don't know. We've shown t tons of videos. There's, there's a lot of uses for hydraulic remotes. And yeah, I wouldn't say that's the number one thing to get, right? Because I think that there's others, there are other items above that, but it's very important and oftentimes cheaper to get those up front than it is to do it down the road. If you do need to do it down the road or maybe you buy a used tractor that doesn't have them on there, Summit Hydraulics, that's the best place to get those aftermarket solutions. Way cheaper, do-it-yourself kits that they sell. You save 5% with code GWT. Now this one, I, I gotta say I'm actually proud of you guys, okay? Only 3% said get a certain brand. And um, I, I find it, it's, it's just amusing because you get so many brand loyalists on the channel, right? That only buy green or, or I hate green or only buy red or only buy orange or whatever it is, you know? And so, I think that that is refreshing and something for you guys to soak in that that's not me saying this. This is, this is for you and gives you a lot of flexibility and I think breathing room on the options available to you that in the grand scheme of things, that is not, that's fourth place out of all these items. Five times the amount of people said get extra hydraulics on their tractor than get a certain brand of tractor. That's, that's telling that, um, a lot of companies out there, a lot of manufacturers make good quality equipment, all right? That doesn't mean you don't need a good dealer. There's still good and bad dealers all over the place, and I don't like to bash dealers, but I've, I've got a long list of good and bad dealers all over the place. So it's, it can happen with tractors, it can happen with cars, it can happen with UTVs, you name it. So I think that's refreshing, and, and um, I think that's a big insight, even though it's the the smallest amount of responses, it sheds a lot of light on the subject. But folks, do yourself a favor, 85 comments on there, there was over 2,000 votes, but there's a lot of good information to consider that if it were me, I mean, it's, it's valuable, valuable stuff to think about. You'll get set up the right way. This is gonna save you guys a lot of, a lot of regret before buying your tractor. It's a big decision. You don't wanna have to buy it a month or two later realize you should have done this, you should have done that. I mean, it's tough for one tractor to check every single box. And that's why I have like 10 tractors all the time. <laughs> but get a priority list, okay? Make your own list. Take all the information you can get. Go through it, right? Revise that list. Just, you know, if it's a budget that you gotta hit, if it's a certain, a certain set of tasks that you have to do with it, if you have to trailer it and you need a certain size trailer, if it's storage room, whatever it is, you can only have one number one priority, only one number two priority. Just see which, which tractor checks the most boxes, right? And that's gonna be the one for you. Now, we sell nice used tractors. We sell brand new tractor attachments. We ship our equipment all over the country every day of the week. We have financing available. Go to goodworkstractors.com, see what we have to offer. Our tractor inventory rotates, it, it varies. Our attachments, we got an attachments for just about everything you could possibly need to do. We'd love to earn your business. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. I just keep looking at that tree out there. It's already completely red. It's stinking nuts. I mean, I love it, but man. Yeah, chill out. Let's get another three months of summer and then come on in yeah. and then skip winter. Exactly. I'll take winter for Christmas. But Luscious. about January 2nd, come on, spring. Let's warm up. Yeah. All right, so, are you rolling?